This video kind of continues the story from Monday's video, so make sure to check that out first. Link is up there. But anyway, if you watch that, you know that I have a package here. And I need a scalpel. Scalpel. This package again came from Poland. It came from Poland, but it is actually from a subscriber of mine, Chris from England. So he saw that I really, really want one specific tarantula. And he contacted me and said that he would like to get it for me. But he is from England and he don't, don't really know how to send it or something like that. And after a quick chat, we decided that the best way would be that I find a store where they have that tarantula. And that he will send me money for it so I can order it. I found the tarantula at Spiders World. If you don't know about them, they are a company from, from Poland. And they have a lot of tarantulas and they visit all sorts of expos. They were actually at the BTS Expo. So this video in the same time will also be a review of that shop, I guess. So let's open it. The package was in transit for around, the, around one week, maybe five days, maybe five days. I, I need to check the date, but it came pretty fast and once again random papers from Poland. Besides the tarantula that I ordered, I also ordered one through, through Spider. You will see which one is it in the moment. It was really cheap, so since I already was ordering one tarantula, it was a shame not to get that Spider. But it is not Heteropoda. As you can see, nice packaging. I mean, they are they are well-known stores, so I don't think that there could be anything wrong with the package. They know what they are doing, but still, I don't know if there is actually a review of, the, of their store. This is really nice package. This seems like, seems like original styrofoam box. Really nice. I like it. Oh, forgot to turn on the light. Sorry about that. I'm actually going to keep this. I really like it. So I'm wondering, can you guess what species is inside? TS. Yep, it is Terraphosa stirmi. Actually, just a second. I will immediately house it in this enclosure because I'm pretty sure it's decent size. It should be in its second mold, unsexed, but but they are pretty big even in their first mold. Whoa! No, 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 no. It is actually fast. But I'm happy that it is healthy. That it came healthy. Maybe this actually is already too small for it. Hmm, do I have something bigger? Not really. Okay, I will close it now to see how it reacts. Oh, it seemed that... Oh, battery. It's a bit on the edge, but 
So there it is. Terafosa steer me. My very first Terafosa. So thank you, Chris. Really appreciate it. And regarding the name, I asked him to pick a name for the for the steer me. If it turns out to be a female, then <laughs> he proposed the name Linda as his mother-in-law. Because of that, I even more hope that it's female. It is a male, then he wants to name it Bruce as Bruce Banner, the Hulk, because it will get huge anyway, no matter if it's a male or a female. Should we try and feed it? Usually when you get new tarantula, you should wait around a week to let the tarantula settle in new enclosure and get familiar with its surrounding. But terafosas are really, really feisty. So I'm pretty sure it will take down a prey if I offer it. Just a second. Okay, let's see the reaction. Told you. What a beast. Can you believe that tarantula of this size is in only its second molt? I think that that parahebana that I showed you in, in my last unboxing video is also in its second molt. And it is big maybe as Stirmi's carapace. Amazing, amazing. Okay, let's close that off now. And, and let me show you the other edition. So LM, in case you don't know, it is Linotella megateloides and the reason why I bought this true spider it is because, it is because they web like crazy, crazy amount of webbing. So that will be amazing to watch. Got the enclosure for it, it is insanely fast. So I'm not sure how I will get it to this small while. But you know that I will do my best. It already made a lot of web. And their spinnerets are so long. I'm really not sure what is the best way. See? It's down there. So there is high chance that it will just that it will just bolt like crazy. Because you know true spiders, they are crazy fast. Maybe I should just try to squeeze it. That worked. Sweet. This turned out to be a good tactic. You could learn something from this. It seems that they aren't as fast as heteropodas can be. So maybe I was over, over cautious with these pieces. We will see how much it will web. And I will also transfer the hirsutum slings. Hirsutum. But I need a bit of substrate. I only have one while of this size and one while of this size. So they won't be in the same while. GoPro ran out of memory and it was also low on battery. So I left it to charge and went to, to eat something. And now I'm not sure where I stopped. I guess I was just about to transfer this because it is half open. So yes, let's do it. Of course. There we 
we go. They are walking similar like... No. Oh. Okay. No, 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 no. Where is the... Ugh. Great success. How did it? I'm too slow. There we go. Nailed it. Oh, right there. Let's turn this off, we don't need this, we don't need this. And I need a towel. What is this? Because I was driving my bike outside and as, as soon as I got home I went straight to these transfers to finish this video. Anyway, this video is over. Special thanks to Chris for providing me with this amazing tarantula. We are all hoping to be a female so we can call her Linda. That would be awesome. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs it up and comment something. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload every Monday and Friday, so see you again soon. Bye! -bye.